Hi, and welcome to Brain Stuff. I'm Josh Clark, and this is the Brain Stuff where I explain to you how deja vu works. Where I explain to you how deja vu works. So, you're probably familiar with deja vu. It's an eerie feeling that something that is otherwise novel or not something you've experienced seems really familiar. It's odd, and these episodes last anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. And most people have experienced it at one point or another. Something like two-thirds of all people say that they've experienced deja vu before. I can't conceive of what the other one-third are thinking. Deja vu, the term itself, means already seen en français. That's because the term was coined by a Frenchman named Emile Birawak. And he coined the term in his book Les Avenirs des Sciences Psychiques. That's my best French impression. So science really has no idea what's going on with deja vu, which makes it fascinating. There's actually something like 40 major theories on the phenomenon, uh, which is a lot. And scientists can't even agree how to categorize it. But most people say it comes under one of two umbrella terms. There's associative, which means that stimuli, external stimuli is triggering deja vu. And then there's biological, Biological deja vu is where there's some sort of structural or chemical abnormality going on in the brain that's triggering deja vu. One great example of biological deja vu is temporal lobe epilepsy. People who have epilepsy tend to have deja vu right before the onset of a seizure. And it turns out that you can actually bring on deja vu in people with epilepsy by stimulating their brains with electromagnetism. People who have anxiety and depression can actually suffer from chronic deja vu, which happens so frequently that it, it's debilitating in their lives. And there's this awesome case of a dude who had a fever and started taking dopamine producing drugs to fight it off and was suddenly faced with an onslaught of deja vu that went away when he stopped taking the drugs. Mysterious, but data. Whether it's structural or associative, scientists think that the culprit behind deja vu is the medial temporal lobe, which for reference, if you ever want to know, is located just behind the top of your ear toward the middle of your brain. That's medial temporal lobe land. So like I said, there's something like 40 major theories about what is behind deja vu, but I have some favorites, and here they are. The first one was proposed by a guy named Dr. Alan Brown, and it is called divided attention theory. The idea behind it is that you actually have had this experience before, but you weren't paying enough attention to create a full functioning memory of it. So it seems familiar for a reason. My personal favorite is hologram theory, proposed by a Dutch psychiatrist named Dr. Herman Snow. So one thing you might not know about actual holograms is if you cut the substance that creates the hologram into smaller pieces, it'll still show the hologram, just at a lower resolution. Well, Dr. Snow took this idea of physical holograms and applied it to deja vu. He thought that maybe some fragment of a memory experience, like a smell or some sort of transient thought, brought on the memory of a larger full scene. That that's what deja vu was. Pretty cool, huh? And then there's dual processing theory. The idea behind this is that new novel stimuli hits our brain and is processed twice. That second time it runs through our brain, the brain mistakes it as something that's already familiar. And the last one is leaky processing theory. The idea is that when new stimuli comes into our working memory, it just kind of hangs out there, jogs around until it's sorted out as either important or unimportant. Well, leaky processing theory says that somehow some little bit of stimuli gets through from our working memory to our long-term memory without being sorted, and so although it's new, our brain mistakes it as something familiar, because it's in long-term. Pretty neat stuff. And then, just for extra credit, there's the opposite of deja vu, which is called jamais vu. And jamais vu is when you experience something that you know you know, a person, a place, a thing, a word, and it looks totally and eerily unfamiliar to you. So it's the exact opposite of deja vu, which is pretty neat, because the brain is neat. And if you like this video, which I hope you did, there are plenty more here. You can go ahead and subscribe while you leave a comment below. Any suggestion for a future show is much appreciated. And if you want even more cool stuff, head on over to the venerable website, HowStuffWorks.com.